Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Kathy Ireland. I have always liked Kathy Ireland, and am so happy that she's done well in life. She is definitely one of my all-time favorite supermodels. Her modeling career ran for an impressive length of time, from the 1980s through 1990s. She got into acting and voice acting from 1985 to 2002. Beginning in 1993, she became a businesswoman and has only gotten more savvy with that as time goes on. As it stands, Kathy Ireland is one of the richest and most successful former supermodels of all time. Her modeling career started as a teenager in high school. Right from the start, she was a success. Although you saw her in a lot of places, she became most associated with Sports Illustrated magazine. There's good reason for this. She was in 13 consecutive Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues, and on the cover three times. There were a lot of famous models during the 1990s, but I think the top two that everyone talked about were Cindy Crawford and Kathy Ireland. Her acting career started pretty low-key. This wasn't a reflection on her talent, it's just that some of the projects were a little smaller than others, and sometimes her parts were little more than cameos. In the early 1990s, Kathy started taking voice lessons. Why? If you happen to come across 1980s interview footage of Kathy, you'll notice that her voice was rather nasally. It was endearing, especially when she was in her late teens and early 20s, but she didn't want to sound like a little girl forever. Voice lessons helped Kathy lose a lot of that squeak, and it boosted her acting career. As early as 1990, Kathy started to get into better projects. That year, she played a character called Gina in the interesting fantasy comedy movie Mr. Destiny, starring Jim Belushi. The movie bombed, but it was a mainstream movie with a lot of famous people, and it certainly didn't hurt Kathy's acting career. Her next movie was a success. She was one of many famous people in the football comedy Necessary Roughness from 1991. Although the movie wasn't a mega hit, it still made some money and has become a cult favorite. After some more TV and movie roles, some more successful than others, Kathy played a major supporting character in the comedy film Loaded Weapon 1 from 1993. This was a spoof of the popular Lethal Weapon movies. I love the Lethal Weapon movies, and I still love this spoof. This is quite possibly one of the silliest movies I've ever seen, and Kathy Ireland is a highlight. I do believe she was at her funniest in this movie. This movie was a big hit, but despite the title, it spawned no sequels. Kathy continued to have big parts in movies after this, but surprisingly, it was either in TV movies or lower budget movies. She got a lot more into TV work at this time. Kathy was often the female lead. In her last two TV movies, Once Upon a Christmas in 2000 and its sequel, Twice Upon a Christmas the next year, she actually got top billing. Her TV work continued until 2002 and throughout the course of her relatively short but pretty successful acting career, she was in a lot of really popular shows, including Charles in Charge, Tales from the Crypt, The Larry Sanders Show, Boy Meets World, Melrose Place, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Suddenly Susan, and Touched by an Angel, among others. She lent her voice to a number of popular cartoons, including Marvel's The Fantastic Four and The Incredible Hulk as Crystal and Ogress, respectively. She was also in Eek the Cat, Duckman, King of the Hill, and Totally Spies, among others. In 1993, she started Kathy Ireland Worldwide. Kathy started it because she wasn't that fond of a lot of the fashion wear she had been modeling. She knew that she could make something better that was more wearable. It began with a line of socks that was so successful the Kmart store chain took notice. From that point on, until 2003, she had an exclusive deal with Kmart. 
Since then, her brand has been sold everywhere. This has made more money for Kathy than anything, and her company has generated billions of dollars. In 1994, Kathy came out with her first exercise video, and it was such a success that she made several more. It even branched out into Kathy Ireland fitness equipment. She's fiercely Christian and has done a lot of family shows. She's written many books, most of them for children. A lot, but not all, of her charity work is aimed towards children. She has three kids of her own, with Dr. Greg Olson, who she has been married to since 1988. One of the lesser known facts about Kathy Ireland is one of the most interesting. She was actually close friends with the legendary actress Elizabeth Taylor and they attended a lot of public events together. What I want to know is how come you don't hear about this friendship too much but you heard about Michael Jackson's friendship with Elizabeth Taylor quite a bit. Kathy still remains in the public eye and continues to build her fantastic business empire. Although her modeling and acting days seem to be over, she has two news magazine type shows on TV including Worldwide Business and Modern Living on the Fox Business and Bloomberg Networks respectively. Her beauty, brains, and above all else likable personality make Kathy Ireland a billion dollar Babe of the day, babe of the day.